Well, that was a pretty ordinary shot. If I wasn't on a mat and I was on grass, I would have taken a huge divot about that thick and the, ball, the divot would have gone further than the golf ball. If you suffer from chunking the ball or hitting the ball fat, this video is for you. Stay tuned. So if this is your first time here, welcome. Uh, this channel is all about helping you play better golf. Today I'm gonna to look at what causes you to chunk the ball or hit the ball fat. You saw on that little uh, demonstration there that I did exaggerate it a bit, but most, of the, most people hit the ball fat because as they're coming down, they're getting trapped on their back foot and they're staying back and that makes me hit way behind the golf ball. So it creates this reverse weight shift or reverse pivot. We want to try and get our weight shift going through the shot and that is going to stop you from hitting it fat. As soon as you start falling back, and you do it because you're trying to hit the ball in the air. So in every other sport but golf, you hit, you lean back and you hit up. In golf, we have to hit down a little bit. So one of the ways I would get you doing it is just to use, as you're coming down, just get that left hip turning out of the way and forward. So if you can get that left hip turning out of the way and forward, that makes your contact point closer to the ball. And it's getting your weight on the front foot and you're not likely to hit it fat like I did on that little demonstration. One of the good ways that I recommend for you to practice that is to use a ball. And I call this one the bounce the ball drill. So we take our setup, holding the ball, and I swing the, the ball back. I've got to then bounce the ball out that way. By doing that, I'm transferring my weight quite well. I'll do it from this angle as well. By me thinking about bouncing the ball, you can see my hips are turning left and sliding forward. So I'll give it a go. There it is there. Sorry about that camera. So it's a great drill to do. You can do it against a wall and it really does help improve your weight shift. The other way I can recommend that you can get yourself out of this is to place a lie board down behind the, the golf ball. So I've got that about six inches or so behind the ball. If I do that bad swing and fall back to my right, you can hear that loud impact. And that's not really the impact there. That was less so, but I was still falling back. So what we're trying to achieve is a swing where the club comes down and hits somewhere between the lie board and the golf ball. So we just, you don't have to do full swings. You can see the ball going forward. My weight shift was going forward. That certainly helps you to stop it. The last way I've got today to think about how we can fix this problem is an old one. I used to do this when I was a kid. Feet together. Feet together, knees together. If you start falling back to your right, you're gonna lose your balance. So all we do here, we put feet together, knees together, and we just try and stay nice and balanced, and we don't hit it fat. So there's three ways that will help you to get out of that bad habit. Thank you for letting me help you with your golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor. And if you like my videos, you can click on the round avatar down the bottom there. You can get further information on my Facebook page or my Twitter feed. You can also sign up to my electronic newsletter at thegolfdoctor.com.au.